Can I get a J? J! Can I get a D? D! Can I get an M? M! Now what's that spell? JDF! He's a trooper. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's episode, we're uh, installing this crazy looking JDM center armrest piece. I don't know how well this is going to work, but it looks fancy and I like JDM parts. Plus, I have, a, I have a couple theories with this guy here. So I saw online that this kind of pushes forward the, uh, the center armrest console area and every time I go to put drinks in my cup holders, like the current one just gets in the way and it just stabs my drinks and the, the drinks spill everywhere and I just, I don't want that anymore. So, plus we get an extra cubby with this. Imagine all the things we can put in this cubby. We'll put some things in it. I don't know what things, but we'll put, we'll put different size stuff in here. Who doesn't love more cubbies? It's a nice cubby thing. Anyways, let's just jump into it. I'm gonna grab this camera. Let's jump into the car and start uh, throwing this guy in and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at how it does. So we are starting in the back seat back here and uh, we're gonna end up having to pull this entire back piece off. So how you're gonna do that is there's a cup holder guy here, pull that guy out, and then there's like a couple small tabs in here that you gotta push up on. And this guy will come off. Once this guy's off, there's a Phillips head screw behind here. So when I get this off, I'll grab the camera. Bam. So that piece is off. Now you can see that screw back in there. We're gonna end up pulling this screw off here. And then we should be able to pull this entire back piece off. Bam, back piece is off. Now this guy should just pull right out. There we go. A couple pop, poppy tabs over here. Look at that. Look at that goodness. So I'm not gonna take this all the way off, but I'm gonna show you guys what's next. So. After you've got this so you can move it back and forth like that, you're gonna come up top and then you can see these three Phillips head screws and some weird like, what is that? Is that rust or is those like leaves? I don't know what's in there, but that's kind of gross. So before I get to pulling this off, taking that off and putting on the new one, I kind of want to show you guys from the driver's seat and the passenger side how this current one looks in comparison to the one we're gonna be putting on. So right now this is from the passenger seat of the car and as you can see, whenever you go to push this up, it comes up to like an awkward angle so that you can't get a goddamn cup in there. All I want to do is be able to put my drinks in my cup holders. So this new method should bring this up so that way I can still get cups in there. Hopefully it works. But now that we've got um, that back portion on, also it should bring it out more too. So right now in the video you can kind of see it's like right, right about there in front of the seat. So. We're gonna hop in the back, we're gonna pull off those three screws so that we're able to take this one off and then we'll start to get the new one assembled on. Pull that guy back and uh, start to start taking these guys out right here. All right, those three screws are out. Now this guy should just slide right off. Whoa, look at that! Now that we've got this top piece off the car, the original piece, we're gonna go hop in the bench inside of the garage get this piece assembled to our new one and then we'll come out here and get our new pieces assembled to the uh the center console itself all right so now that we're out of the car what we're gonna have to do here is go ahead and assemble the old unit here that comes up and out with the new unit here so you'll see that there's two holes down here on the back side and what we need to do is take the old one and screw these two holes into this tab up into this new one so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up sliding the shelf down into it and it'll click into place and then line up the two holes and then put the two button head screws in, not the countersunk ones. Those are gonna be used for this plate cover. We're gonna want these two button head ones. Go ahead and screw those two in. Now you might be asking yourself, how are we gonna cover up all this grossness in the back? With that, with that weird cover plate that they gave us. So the two holes on it are for the countersunk screws and those are for these two nut plates that are on the bottom down here. So we have one nut plate here, one nut plate here, and then the cover. So the cover is going to slide up and in and then clip into place. 
So, I just got it to clip into place there as you can see, and then we have one, one hole there, one hole there for these two countersunk screws. So with the countersunk screws, we're gonna get those two started going in. I'm going to grab this impact here, and we're going to tighten them down. Look at that, look at that beautifulness of our new center console piece. So with this, we're gonna go get this set in the car. Now, when we're reinstalling it, there's this bracket back here. These two innermost holes are for the alignment tabs that's on the center console. The more outward holes, the far, far left, middle, and far right are gonna be for the screws that are button heads. So we're gonna get this slid back in. I'll show you how we slide this in, get it screwed down, and then reassemble that back piece that we took apart earlier. All right, this has been quite the uh, interesting angle to try to get, but as you can see there, there's our three screw holes and there's our two alignment tabs. So we're gonna take this new unit here, slide that bracket down in and onto the alignment tabs as they are there, and then we're gonna get those three screws put in. So these are the same three screws that you took out earlier, so you shouldn't, shouldn't have to be worrying about trying to grab some new ones or where did Subaru put the new ones? They should all be there. So with that, they're in, I'm gonna get them tightened down, then we can reassemble this back piece and we'll take a look at how much more room we actually have up here. So we're gonna pop this cover on right here, just like that, and then that one silver screw that we took out from the inside, we're gonna put that guy back in. And then lastly is to put that cover back on for back here. Look at that, new center console. So we'll hop up front, we'll see uh, just exactly where it put this guy, and uh, we'll see what we'll see what we can put inside of this. Oh! So just like we talked about before, now you can see how much farther this guy sticks out. And then when we open it, look at all that arm room. That is much better for arm room right there. Like I'm gonna hop over in the driver's seat and we'll see just how much arm room we actually get out of this. All right, so here I am, your normal dude. That's actually pretty, that's actually pretty perfect right where it is. Like, I don't think you need this. Like, this is like good to have your arm on if you're driving and you're like, Brap. but I'm like a pretty average dude. I'm 5'7", I'm 150 pounds, but for my build, this is pretty good. What does this do? We got one opening, two opening. We have so many openings. This does so much. Like this is actually pretty comfortable to drive in. I could fall asleep. I could fall asleep. So we have our main cubby, secondary cubby, arm extension. Interesting. So let's grab some stuff and we'll see what we can fit in this cubby. I'm kind of curious. It's pretty big, pretty decent size. Not as big as the main cubby, but we could definitely put stuff in there. We got our cubby. Let's open up the main component. Bam. There's spot number one. Will a phone fit? Barely. I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and it fits. What else will fit? Will sunglasses fit? Sunglasses fit. Does it close? It closes. What other normal driving stuff? Keys obviously will fit. Here's like an aperture light that I have. It fits. This is just a convenient little cubby. You can put like your registration, your license, your wallet. I don't know what you're going to put in there. You can put 10 pounds of marijuana in there if it's... No, you can't. You can put a kilo of cocaine. No, you can't. You can put stuff in there. I wouldn't advise putting drugs in there. If you're going to do it, at least go for a better spot like, you know, under, under the mats or something. But this is actually... I recommend this. I picked this guy up from Brian at the Mod Garage. A uh, huge shout out to him as always. Always being a superstar and helping. But we've got Cubby's Galore, man. Cubby's Galore. Recommend this. Looks looks sick. It's comfy. It's functional. It's got all the spaces. So, nice! Alrighty, boys and girls. There ends another one of our awesome installs. Random install that I purchased. I want my Red Bull. So, it's a nice little cubby. If you got stuff to put, if you got stuff you just don't know where to put it, put it in the cubby. Put it all in the cubby. So let's wrap this up. As always, I appreciate the time that all of you spent here, each and every one of you. I appreciate the feedback, the comments, and everyone who is just a part of the channel as we grow. Just being a part of the channel, I like it. And I, uh, I appreciate everyone here. I respond to everyone, so if you got anything to say, positive, negative, I'll probably respond to it anyways. Um, 
Don't post negative stuff, though. No one likes that. So, if you like the content that was in today's episode, smash the like button if you so desire. If that is something that you're into, smash the hell out of it. I'm not going to tell you to do that anymore because it's getting a little weird, isn't it? Oh well. But if you're not already subscribed to the channel, right up here. We got good stuff coming all the time and I got more parts coming for next week. Um, we got a dash cam. A uh, really nice dash cam that I want to show you guys how to put into a car because it's good for insurance, security, safety, and whatnot. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo!